All right, Julia Borston, thanks so much. Uh, let's take a look at the markets right now as we get, uh, get close to the top of the hour here. You can see the Dow is trading in positive territory. It's up, uh, you know, a little more than a tenth of a percent, but still in positive territory, three tenths of a percent for the NASDAQ. And look at the S&P bouncing back. It's up about four tenths of a percent. All in all, the market taking this in stride. I mean, the human, the human toll here yeah. looks to be much worse than the economic toll, and we can be grateful for that. And the human toll is a tragedy. We know that. But these markets are, say, all these markets, right, stocks, commodities, oil, gold, there is no major breakout or breakdown. And as the traders told I us, to oil is very much positive. a part of this look today at, because oil is moving positive. lower. They feel as though this is good news for the U.S. economy. So. The human toll here yeah. looks to be much worse than the economic toll, and we can be grateful for that. The human toll here yeah. looks to be much worse than the economic toll, and we can be grateful for that. The human toll here yeah. looks to be much worse than the economic toll, and we can be grateful for that. The human toll here yeah. looks to be much worse than the economic toll, and we can be grateful for that. Now, the U.S. and South Korea are continuing their annual military exercises south of the capital, Seoul. U.S. military officials say the drills are defensive and are aimed at testing both countries' capabilities and coordination. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has criticized the war games, saying it is on alert to respond to any provocation. James Kim has that story. A show of force to deter aggression. The U.S. and South Korea brought out the heavy armor, tightening their alliance amid recent tensions on the Korean peninsula. The two countries are staging a military drill at Camp Carroll in North Gyeongsang province as part of the Key Resolve and Fall Eagle 2011 exercises. The annual U.S.-South Korea drills began on February 28th and is scheduled to run until the end of April. The U.S. Army said the training is designed to test all phases of combat readiness and the integration process. This exercise ensures the ROC U.S. alliance stands fully ready in the event of any aggression towards the Republic of Korea. The routine drills come at a sensitive time, raising the stakes in an already tense situation on the Korean peninsula. Tensions have been high since 46 sailors were killed in an attack last March on a South Korean naval vessel. The DPRK, which has denied responsibility for the naval attack, shelled the South Korean island of Yongpyong last November, killing four people.
The human toll here yeah. looks to be much worse than the economic toll, and we can be grateful for that. The human toll here yeah. looks to be much worse than the economic toll, and we can be grateful for that.